Greetings family, with me here is a, a Lenovo ThinkPad T480 laptop and this laptop was sent to me by a, a user who didn't uh, tell me what exactly happened with the keyboard so they just removed the keyboard and uh, just decided to send it the way it is so what I did, I ordered for a keyboard uh, for a, T470, a, a T480 keyboard and uh, just received it this morning this is the laptop, uh, the keyboard, the laptop keyboard that we need to replace, or rather, put back into this Lenovo ThinkPad T480. So without wasting any of our time, we can just start right away. Uh, remember, I'll I'll be sharing the link, uh, in, uh, the description link below for the uh procedures on how to replace the keyboard but first things first we need to first uh, remember we need to first uh, remove or rather disconnect the power source onto the uh, laptop so in this case we need to first remove the battery and uh let me just remove this battery just like this for this t480 you just uh there's a full video showing how you can replace the keyboard i'm going to leave it in the description link below so for now let's just uh, assume that we have disconnected even the internal battery which is there because you can do that using the bios or rather unscrewing all this place to disconnect the battery but that's a uh, a video for another time but for now let's just uh, replace this keyboard so i will just first uh, clean up this area as you can see it it, seem, it looks to be a bit uh, dirty and uh, dusty a bit so let me just uh, get maybe this uh, cleaning towel and uh, try to wipe clean it a bit wipe clean it a bit further still i can uh, just blow a little the dust a little and uh, need to clean this dust off so once I'm done with that I can then let me just get this keyboard and uh, unwrap it wrap it straight oops shining looks brand new so there's no way we can know whether it's working let's just uh... so we have our connecting points here where we need to connect where we need to connect the keyboard connectors so we start with this one the first one here then we add lock it connect this there is a line that you are supposed to follow and see that it's aligned very well properly into the connecting port then after that you close once you see that it's aligned well so after i will just flip <coughs> my keyboard and uh, push it into the inside part you see this uh, first uh, back part there back part there so once you are done we can just align it downwards and then we slide it back inside into the this so you have to make ensure that it's fitted in firmly so now that that is done we can uh, then You see there are these two screws as I, 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 I showed you earlier in uh, the video in the description link. You just uh, tighten these two screws. So I'm assuming that 
the user didn't remove these screws and uh, luckily enough they don't get off so these ones are just to hold firmly the keyboard so once that is done we can then get our battery and put it back and then let's try powering it on to see the behavior so it will display that logo but when it also looks dirty a bit uh, we need to clean it up after this so we need to test we need to test that the keyboard is working we need to confirm we need to confirm that the keyboard is working oops it has a password they didn't give me the password let me try this okay so let's open any word document and see whether we can type all the characters and confirm to it that all the characters are working very well just to confirm that the keyboard we have replaced is working properly oops okay so let me bold let me bold the characters that we are going to be using the font so let's start by typing a caps a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z so the letters are working let's start with the, let's also try the numbers one two three four five six seven eight nine zero working so that shows that we have successfully that is a big sign that we have successfully replaced our keyboard for this laptop so all i'm uh, let me just check the windows version mm, it's running on windows 10 pro and uh, virus protection is out of date so that's it let me just uh, continue working on those other updates but uh, for the keyboard section i just wanted to show you how we can replace it in case but uh, let me leave the uh, link below for the full video on how to replace keyboard for the lenovo t470 thank you so much for watching see you in the next video cheers